I look like a potato. I'm a potato. I'm a potato. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel Life with Sahina. Yep, welcome back. <laughs> So, um, it's been a while, um, I know I uploaded a vlog last time, but it's been a while since I've sat down and spoken, so. How are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are doing good, and uh, thanks for sticking around once again. Three months, that's a long time to stick around. So, in today's video, I decided that I was gonna sit down and do my makeup. I have not done makeup in a very long time. I had asked you guys on Instagram on my stories to throw me whatever you, your assumptions are about me or ask me anything because I was going to do a QA and a video and that was in June. Um, so if you guys did ask me the questions and you're watching this video now, I'm going to answer them. I know it's late but I'm still going to answer them. So without me rambling on any further, let's get straight into this video. So I'm going to go in with my usual. Fenty Beauty No Filter because I haven't used this in so long. I can't wait to see if it's still usable. Also, I'm still working from home. So, obviously, I haven't done my makeup because, you know, I'm at home and we don't really do video meetings so much. And when I do have video meetings, it's just with like my team. And my team is me and two other ladies. <laughs> So, um, we don't really worry about how we look on our video so much because, you know, we're gals, you know, not really bothered about that. Now, I'm going to go in with, do I want to do my brows first? No, I'm going to do foundation. Let's do foundation. Ooh, I haven't worn foundation in so long. I can't wait for all these marks and pimples to be covered up. One, two, two pumps. I think I used to put two pumps, I can't remember. Okay, two pumps was too much. Shit. So, while I am beating my face in, I think I'm going to answer the first question, which you guys asked me, so let's see what it was. Kayla Shivana asked, what are your favorite makeup brands? So, um, obviously I don't have a current favorite because, the haven't worn makeup in such a long time but my favorite makeup brands is definitely essence because of you know the affordability and uh, if we look at high-end I really love this Fenty foundation um, Colourpop, Colourpop eyeshadows are the bomb um, other than that no particular I like Switch Beauty which is also a local South African brand um, their quality is really good and their prices are also really good so I do enjoy the products as well but I don't have any particular favorite makeup brand that you know I can't live without or whatever I can easily swap things out and make a plan you know second wasn't a question this is actually coming from my friend uh, my friend UV um, he said what did he say he said everyone on the internet has something to say and most of them want to be critics so if anyone has anything bad to say, just don't listen. You keep doing your thing. You're awesome, fam. Don't invite negativity. Thanks, bro. Um, I totally get what you mean. That's true. That Nowadays, there's just always something that someone on the internet has to say. Everyone is offended by every little thing and everyone just... It's, it's become like a mindset, I feel now, that, you know, people's opinion is the only opinion that's allowed to be had and um, I think that's one of the main reasons that I took a step back from social media like I logged out of my accounts and everything I just I just stepped back for those few weeks because it was becoming toxic actually being on the internet and this person cancelling this person and this person shaming this person and oh this person's a bad person because they didn't share this in support of this you know it was just becoming so toxic and irritating actually um, which is one of the main reasons that I step back for a while so um, definitely I don't like negativity and I ignore a lot of negative things on like the internet especially if there's stuff that is aimed at me not very often are stuff aimed at me to be honest but when somebody does say something I ignore or I delete your comment because I don't like negative shit on my stuff okay 
okay anyway so um before i go on to the next question i'm going to do my brows my brows i haven't done in a very very long time so i'm excited to do my brows and see what my face looks like with brows i am still using the switch beauty okay, so i'm still using the switch beauty hashtag beach brow um eyebrow fluffer thing um, but I also decided to give the Switch Beauty Brow Bar a hello BB the Switch Beauty Brow Bar um, a chance and I absolutely love love this thing so it's a a cute little container like this it comes with your three shades a little brush and a mirror I love that it comes with a mirror it is smudge proof a little bit and uh, but it is also waterproof and I've tested it I put did my brows I got in the shower I didn't obviously rub but I got in the shower I got out and nothing was running down my face next question was from Sarisha okay I'm saying your full name because I know your name but your Instagram handle is Siri Crystal oh, pop the little sticky thingy up here yes so she asked how did you start yoga and how do you recommend starting with yoga so Fun fact, I haven't done proper yoga in a long time as well. Um, obviously, I haven't forgotten how to do it. It's just that it just became one of those things again with the kitties moving into my room and then moving out and trying to get a routine. I mean, th <laughs> three cats is a lot, guys. I started yoga simply by YouTube, honestly. There are amazing classes and beginner um beginner programs on youtube i'll link the one that i use down below so i started by following that religiously for 30 days straight and eventually you get into your own flow when you realize that there's so much more to yoga than just stretching just please do not pay for expensive yoga classes it's covert especially just don't pay for that don't pay for online courses just go to youtube there are so many yogis out there that are putting out all the courses and material that you need that's my brows um i don't like them hey yo handsome do you want to see the people let's see the people <laughs> yeah hi Neo. hi okay he doesn't like the people i'm gonna use the urban decay um eyeshadow primer potion lord knows if this actually works i think it does work because i use it for my engagements and my eye makeup stayed till infinity so i guess it does kind of work okay so we're gonna zoom in okay so this is so close for comfort but real we are hello hello so for my eyes i'm gonna use the beauty glaze rock metal palette this palette is actually so beautiful look how beautiful those colors are i think as usual i'm probably going to do like a burgundy eye look because that's the only colors i know how to use i think i'm going to just go in with this color called khaki first it's just a a nude kind of setting color to use okay then i think i'm gonna go in with a uh, camel i think yeah we'll go in with camel it's kind of an orangish rusty kind of color okay i'm gonna go in with clay which is also like a i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna concentrate that more over here Oh yes, I still have questions to answer. Next question was K KS loves my internet friend. What is your favorite quote of inspiration? One thing I always say to myself in situations is if it's meant to be, it will be. And that has just pulled me through a lot of things, to be honest. Um, I think that would be my my quote of inspiration in life. Uh, Verona asked how has the time apart from the fiance been and have you started wedding planning so during lockdown um, we didn't see each other for three weeks because obviously for those of you who don't know we don't live together but um, we didn't see each other for three weeks but then eventually he was coming every second week so it was 14 days between each time that I would see him so you know like the 14 days you know that thing um yeah and then that 
second week kind of just fell away and now I used to see him whenever so didn't really affect us as much as for wedding planning no <laughs> I have not started wedding planning at all. We don't even have a wedding date yet. Okay, so my lids are kind of cut. I just put concealer, looked up, did the line, and then just I'm dabbing and blending it in with my finger. Now that my eyes are cut, I think I'm gonna go in with a darker like color in the corner. How does it look? It looks kind of patchy there because I don't know what I did, but it does look patchy. Because we're looking super scary, um, I think now's the time to put a a shimmer on. I need to do eyeliner, and I haven't done eyeliner in a very long time, so I'm not going to do it on camera for the sake of your time. <coughs> okay, so I think I did it. Um, it ended up a lot bigger than I wanted it to and it's kind of mixing a bit with like the pigment so it doesn't look as black because it's mixing with the eyeshadow oh I haven't used concealer in so long I'm so excited to not see my dark circles anymore next question <laughs> you are cute and amazing and I love you I love you too uh, two assumptions and one question. This is from Shweta17. So question, what was your latest read? The Tattooist of Auschwitz. I think that was like my last novel read. Then assumption, you're an introvert. I'm actually a mix between an extrovert and an introvert. So I would say I'm more extroverted, but only extroverted with people I'm comfortable with. If that makes sense which turns me back into an introvert if I'm with people I'm not comfortable with or with people I don't know so uh, yeah that's me next assumption you are quite short I'm not that short I thought I was actually a really tall girl um, you know until I met my fiance and he is almost two meters tall and I'm 1.6 meters tall so 1.62 so I think I'm kind of average height what do I need to do next I think I need to contour now right yep I think that's it okay now for the highlighter I'm actually excited for the highlighter because I haven't worn highlighter and I miss it actually so this is the Morphe in spark it is so pretty um, I have swatched it a few times but I never really put it on my face let's go Damn. Okay, I haven't seen myself looking like this in a very, very long time. I feel nice <laughs> for my lips. Okay, so that is my makeup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair for no reason. I just feel like curling my hair. One, two, and that is it. Um, it's about one and a half hours later since I said I'm gonna snap my hair back. But then I ended up sweeping and mopping the house. So, this is the finished look. And I'm not gonna lie, I am low-key proud of myself for being able to do makeup again. So thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching me answer questions from three months ago. Um, do my makeup without knowing where I'm really going with it. And curling my hair. And looking presentable for the first time in eight months i hope you guys have an awesome week ahead and with that i'll see you guys all in my next video adios amigos